Hello, what is up, Big Mac? So today we are going to do some cooking. Yes, Big Mac, so today I thought that it would be fun to try out some cooking. So as many of you may know by now, um, I recently found out that I am lactose intolerant. Which pretty much means candy is out of the equation for me because everything, like chocolate, is made with milk, which really sucks, or so I thought. But yes, in a recent video where I did my first vegan taste test, I found some great chocolate chips that were vegan. So I've just had them for a while, but I haven't really done anything with them since then, except just eat a few of them every now and again. But I thought that it'd be fun to make something with them. Side note, the lighting might change a lot in this video because of the window and the sun in Canada is not that great right now. So one of my favorite chocolate bars was Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups. And since I can't have them anymore, my life has been really, really sad. But since I have found these vegan chocolate chips, I thought why not make some Reese's peanut butter cups that are vegan. So I went to the store and I might have picked up a few more of these chocolate chips. I got a nice good old jar of Skippies. And let's just see how this goes. I have literally never done this before. I do love to cook, but normally when I cook something before showing it to other people, I will try it out for myself. But this, we, we're just gonna wing it and see how it goes. <laughs> so I guess the first whole thing is just to melt the chocolate. Now I know for normally heating up chocolate, a lot of people will tell you that you're supposed to like boil a thing of water and then put a jar over it and then let the chocolate slowly melt. But if you're like me and you just really want chocolate right now, microwave is what I'm going to do. So step one is just pour a bunch of chocolate into a bowl. Now I think normally for some people this would be enough, but I bought a lot more than I thought I would. So we're just gonna use two of these and hope that that is enough. Now no one has told me how long to put it in the microwave for, so let's just guess. Should probably get a spoon. Nothing happened. I think I'm gonna add some almond milk and some vegan butter to try and help, you know, just also, I have no idea how the proportions are working. Like, you know how people normally when they cook are like, add a spoonful of this, add a cup of this, add a teaspoon of that. Me, when I cook, I don't think people like it too much because when they ask me what I'm putting in or how much of something I'm putting in, it is literally however much I feel like of putting in at that time. It keeps things interesting. So now we have put in some milk and some butter and back in the microwave. Put it in for a second. Meant to do a minute, and I hit a second. Maybe that worked. Let's check. No. <laughs> so while those are in the microwave, I will tell you that I bought these like little parchment paper things that will hopefully give it that like shape that every Reese's peanut butter cup has. I don't know if it's gonna turn out as well, but hopefully it will kind of at least look the same. I have a muffin tin, by the way, which I'm going to put these in. I can at least put these like muffin things into the tin correctly. I can, I guarantee you I can at least do that, but we'll never find out. Let's check on the chocolate chips. It is kind of working. It, it might need to go in a bit longer because, but so far that looks good, right? Let me show you closer, hold on. Let me get out my phone and film what it looks like for you guys. I, I'm sorry for that, I don't know what that was. Look at it, it's doing something. It's working. That, that kind of looks like chocolate, right? That looks like it could be good. So back into the microwave you go for a bit more and then we'll have our chocolate ready. Also, I have never done this before, so this video could completely suck and I wish that it doesn't, but it probably will because I don't know how to shoot angles for food. As you can probably tell, you're just looking at me throwing muffin tins into a muffin thing. So now that you have this step done, so now that you have this lined with this, you're gonna fill it with a nice little coat of chocolate. I feel like everyone makes cooking look a lot easier on YouTube, but for me, this is, this is stressful. We've got chocolate. Let's try and get a better angle for you guys. This is probably not the best angle for it, but now that we have melted the chocolate, we are going to fill a nice little layer into these muffin things. So now we just have to do this 11 more times, fuck. I mean, yay, we get to do this 11 more times. 
Also, I might have overdone it on the chocolate because I've almost filled a lot of them and we still have like the entire bowl left. So I might just eat or drink the entire thing of chocolate after this. Now that we have pretty much filled each of these tin things with chocolate, I'm going to try and mold them into at least the shape of it. Right now, this doesn't look too appetizing. So I will be back with you guys after I've done that. Just checking in with you guys Well. I am molding all these things. How do YouTubers make cooking food look so easy? Like, this is hard. <laughs> all right, guys, it is, has been like an hour later, but I have finally done something to these molds. I've kind of formed them into what I think creases used to look like, but now I, I'm just questioning everything I did. <laughs> but now that I have made at least somewhat molds of like the bottom part, what I'm going to do is put them in the fridge for a bit while I make the peanut butter inside. How is there no room in this fridge? Don't you know that chocolate is important? How do I not have spoons? Aha, found one. Spoon. So now that you have found your spoon, get a nice bowl to put in the peanut butter. And what you're going to do is take said peanut butter and scoop it into this bowl. How much peanut butter? I don't know. But now that you have put your peanut butter in a bowl, when I, I watched Shane Dawson do this and he put in some powdered sugar and some butter. So we're gonna do the same, except it's going to be vegan butter and powdered sugar. So once you have found your powdered sugar, just dump what you think is a good amount in. And now you just take your vegan butter and you put some in. How much? Good question. So now we have, I feel like so far, this is the only thing that is going to go well this entire episode because this, this works swimmingly. But now that that is done, what I'm going to do is put in the peanut butter and add a nice little final topping of chocolate. So let's get on that. So here we are guys. We're going to take this and just put some of it in here. Look it, I'm doing something. So once you have gotten this look out of everything, um, what we're going to do now is put another layer of chocolate on top of it and freeze it and hope that it turns out well. So now that we have gotten the chocolate all liquefied like this, what we are going to do is just layer it so it, ew. <laughs> it looks so bad on the phone. That looks disgusting, but I promise it looks a lot better. But we're going to take the spoonful of chocolate and put it over the peanut butter. Like that. God damn it, I'm getting chocolate everywhere, which normally is a good thing, but right now it is not. So once you have layered everything again in chocolate, what you should do is freeze it. So that is exactly what I am going to do now, is freeze it. So guys, it has been about 10 minutes, but before we check on the peanut butter cups to see how they are, I would just like to point out one thing. In every YouTube video, you never have to see them clean. I feel like every YouTuber who has done any of these cooking shows never cleans up afterwards because I just spent the last 10 minutes cleaning powdered sugar off the counter and melted chocolate that has now been stuck to the floor and hardened, which is not fun. And I feel like every other YouTuber who has done this has never cleaned up after I feel like they just, after they're done, it's like, and cut. <laughs> Slaves, clean this up. Now, unfortunately, I don't have people to come and clean up for me. So I have literally just turned into Cinderella and just been sweeping the floors and talking to the mice. Also, this video was inspired by watching Shane Dawson make a giant Reese's peanut butter cup. So I would advise you probably should watch that instead because he did probably a way better job than what is happening in that fridge right now. But now let's check on the peanut butter cups. They don't look too bad. If I'm being completely honest, they don't look the greatest either, but let me, let me take them all out of this and put them on a plate and then I'll show you guys and hopefully they will look way better. I mean, I feel like these could have turned out a lot worse than they actually did. If I'm being completely honest, they don't look that bad. I mean, if I was smarter and I had done this before, I would have smoothed out the top a bit so they would have been a lot flatter. But sometimes being flat is not necessarily a good thing. But enough about how they look. Let's see how they taste. These are amazing. Oh, these are so good. There's so much chocolate and so much peanut butter. And really that's all that matters. Everything that I said before about how it failed, 
I mean, they might not look the greatest, but they taste great. But yes, Big Macs, that is it. That is the vegan peanut butter cups. So there you have it, Big Macs. That was my first cooking video ever. It might have not been the greatest, but... So Big Macs, let me know if you guys thought that these looked good in the comments down below. And if there are other vegan things that you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I do make good vegan brownie, just saying. So if you guys would like to see that, make sure to click the thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to this channel because that would be wicked awesome. And if you wanted to comment below telling me to make some vegan brownies, you should do that. As I have said, stated before, I have no idea how this video is going to turn out because I have never done a cooking video before, so I don't know how to film all of this stuff. I mean, it would be nice if I had someone who knew what they were doing, but I just have myself, so hopefully this was good enough for you guys. But anyway, Big Macs, that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to go and finish all of these Reese's peanut butter cups that are vegan and eat them all to myself. I mean, I don't care what time of day it is, it is late enough somewhere to eat chocolate in the world. <laughs> but once again, Big Macs, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and that is going to be it for this one and I will see you next time. Bye.